Another Christmas Seal show starring Fibber McGee and Molly, brought to you by your local Tuberculosis Association. It snowed last night in Westful Vista, a beautiful thick carpet of white. And the town looks like a Christmas card. Standing on the front walk at number 79, Mrs. McGee thinks she has never seen such a lovely sight. (sighs) And Mr. McGee, just listen to what he thinks of the beautiful snow. No. All it causes is trouble. Wet feet, traffic jams, hard work. Snow. Why do we have to have it? What's it good for? How much did you pay for that snow shovel? Three bucks. If we never have any snow, it would be stupid to buy a snow shovel, wouldn't it? Well, yes, but... So that's what snow is good for. It proves you are not so stupid. (laughs) Hey, it does at that, don't it? Why, sure it does. Ain't that a wonderful thought? Thousands of tons of snow all over the country just to prove that I ain't stupid. (laughs) Kind of makes you stop and think, don't it? I sometimes... What's the matter? I'm just listening for the phone. That guy ever call again? Who? I don't know. Well, then what guy are you talking about? The guy that phoned this morning while you were taking out the ashes and I was in the shower and by the time I got up from slipping on the soap and got downstairs, it stopped ringing. You know, the guy that the next time he called, I was in the basement getting the snow shovel out from under three tons of coal that they dumped it down the chute while I was playing in the Elks Pool Tournament last week and they didn't know the snow shovel was there. (laughs) That guy. Oh, him. Yeah. No, I haven't gotten a call all morning. Who was it? Well, I don't know, but it must be urgent. Hey. Hey, you think maybe it was the pot of gold? I doubt it. They've been off the air for several years. (laughs) Well, our phone's been busy a lot. Hey, that's it. I bet it's one of them quiz shows. Oh, McGee, I don't think so. Look, let's be logical. Are you expecting a call from a quiz show? No, I'm not. Well, neither am I. And one of them guys always call when you're not expecting it. That's when. Boy, oh, boy. Keep listening, Molly. Keep listening. All right, all right. You shovel. I'll listen. Okay. (laughs) Whew. This is hard work. How can anything that looks so light weigh so much? The paper commented on that this morning, dear. You did? Yes. The paper said this was the heaviest snow we've had for a long time. Uh. (laughs) By the way, uh, why the extra shovel on the porch? Oh, that. Well, uh, I change off. When this one gets too hot, I use that one. Oh. McGee, the phone. The telephone, McGee. The phone. That's it. That's the guy that... I'll get it. Dreaded snow shovel. Heavenly days. Here, let me help you up. Are you hurt? Uh, I don't know yet. Answer the phone, will you? I'll get up later. Uh, quick, the phone. I can't get in the house. You're lying across the door. <laughs> well, kick me out of the way before the phone stops. It stopped. Oh, my. Uh-oh, there's the phone again, McGee. I'll get it this time. No, no, no. I'll get it. Must be for me. I'll get it. Dead ratted snow shovel. Sweetheart, dearie, are you hurt? No. No, I don't think so. Quick, help me up so I can answer the... <sighs> Ain't that the doggone... Who do you suppose it is? I haven't the faintest idea. <clears throat> me either. That's what got me worried. Hey, do you suppose anything wonderful has happened to your rich Aunt Sarah? Like she's fell off the roof, maybe? <laughs> no, and get that happy look off of your face. <laughs> Just a thought. <clears throat> <clears throat> I will say for you, dearie, that you're doing a fine job. What'd you say, kiddo? I say, here comes Dr. Gamble. Oh. Hello, doctor. Oh, hi, doc. Hello, Molly. And good day to you, muscle-bound. Hmm. <laughs> what do you mean, muscle-bound? I at least can lean over and see where I've been shoveling without stepping back three paces. <laughs> That's more than you could do. With that steak and potatoes brand of yours, it's a wonder you ever know if your socks match. <laughs> Anyway, at your age, I'd suggest you leave the hard physical work to somebody... Hey, hey, telephone. It's ringing. I'll answer it, McGee. You stay here and talk to... No, 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 no. It's for me. I'm sure. I'll get it. Oh, 
The poor lad. Come on, doctor. I think we need you. He doesn't need me after a fall like that. He needs six muscular friends and a brief eulogy by somebody who doesn't know him too well. <laughs> Help me up, somebody. I got to answer that phone. Too late, dearie. It stopped ringing. Hmm. Are you hurt badly? Look him over, will you, doctor? I've been looking him over for a number of years, and he gets no prettier. <laughs> think you busted anything, Strawfoot? I think I busted everything. Look at that bone sticking out there. Look at that. What's that, my clavicle? That's the handle of your snow shovel. Oh. Doctor, is he all right? Yeah, sit up, Graceful. <laughs> now, take a deep breath. <laughs> What's your idea of a deep breath? I hope you never have to swim across a finger bowl underwater. <laughs> I'll take a deep one. <sighs> You're all right, child of brain, just skinned and bruised. I, I better quit snuggling show for today, huh? <laughs> Who said that? McGee huh? did. Yeah, better take it easy, huh? Relax. Certainly not. Get back and shovel. Loosen up those stiff muscles. Huh? Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to the hospital. Huh? Accident case. Oh, what kind, Lardo? Man slipped and fell down with his neck across his snow shovel and broke it in two pieces. <laughs> well, so long. Did he mean his... She, I didn't have the nerve to ask. <laughs> Can you guess the Christmas gift that's given most? No, not candy, not jewelry, and it isn't exactly right for a stocking, but it's Christmas seals, of course. Yes, when you make your purchase of the Christmas seal with the double-barred cross, you're joining with more than 12 million American families in giving a gift of health to your fellow man and to yourself. So remember this, when you purchase your Christmas seal, you're choosing a gift that's given most and gives the most. And if that isn't the true spirit of Christmas, I'll, well, I'll clean out Fibber McGee's closet. Yes, friends, let's all get behind the Christmas Seal life-saving program. Buy and use all the Christmas seals you can. And now, back to Fibber McGee and Molly. How does your back feel now, dearie? Better? Uh, no... No, but my leg hurts so bad I don't notice my back anymore. You ought to see my knees. They look like I've been shooting craps on a pile of broken glass. Look, sweetheart, why don't you go in and lie down? Then if the phone rings... No, sir. I started this job, and by George, I'm going to finish it. Uh, at this point, I don't care if that, that dreaded phone never rings again. I wouldn't answer that phone now if it was... No, sweetheart. No, it didn't ring. <laughs> I thought I heard it. Anyhow, like I... Oh, hey, take that extra shovel off the steps there and get it out of the way, will you? With pleasure. I'll drop it here in the snow. Good. There. At least that's one hazard you don't have to worry about. Oh, look, McGee, the lad on the sled. Huh? Coming down the hill. Watch it. Look out, Sonny. Hey, look out there, boy. <laughs> Hi, guys, look at him. Roll right into a snow bank. Head over shoelaces. Yeah, well, come on, help him up, kiddo. Uh, oh, it hurts me just to look at a fall like that. Help Here, Sonny, give me your hand now. Well, oh, thanks, daughter. Well, hello there, kid. <laughs> <laughs> hi, daughter. Hi, Johnny. Well, for Heavenly the... Heavenly days, it's the old timer. Uh, hi, old timer. Hey, you want to go belly busting, Johnny? <laughs> you know, that might be a nice switch at that, McGee. Mm -hmm. You said it. I've busted everything else so far. <laughs> no, thanks, old timer. i got to clean off this sidewalk in case it freezes tonight. Liable to get slick. Well, it can be dangerous, Johnny. I spread ashes around our front porch this morning myself. <laughs> Some folks use gravel. What do you spread on your front steps, kids? McGee. Huh? <laughs> he said what he has spread on the steps. And, uh, you know, the phone keeps ringing, Mr. Old Timer, and every time McGee hits that porch, he spreads out like a pat of butter on a hot waffle. <laughs> well, the boy's kind of fumble-footed, daughter. He don't keep in condition. You ought to do like me, Johnny. First thing I do every morning is hop into a cold shower for ten minutes. Tones me up. <laughs> no 
kidding. You stand under a cold shower in this weather? Yep. One of these days, I'm going to get up the nerve to turn it on, too. <laughs> I always claim that... Hey! What is it? Well, there's a snow shovel laying out here in the yard, kids. So I've been losing it that way. Yeah, we know. We put it there, so just... I better put it over here on the floor. No, don't you bother now. We want it left no, out No, here. no, no. That's it. That's the phone. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get a shovel on the steps here where you kids can find it when you want it. Ratted snow shovel. Dear, oh uh, dear, McGee. Johnny! Yeah? The phone's ringing. <laughs> Never mind, they hung up. <laughs> Aching everything. Now, now, you just stay there on the Davenport, sweetheart. You'll be all right. Can I get you anything? No. No, I'll just lay here and listen for the phone. Whoever that is is going to get a hunk of my mind that... There it is. That's it. I'll get it. No, no. Hello. Hello, this is McGee. Hello. Oh, no, no, dearie. That's the doorbell. Oh. Here. Let Mother help you back on the divan. You mustn't exert yourself like that. Oh, come on in. Ah, uh, good afternoon to you both. You, Mr. and Mrs. McGee. Yes, we are, bud. Whatever you want, I'm pretty busy right now. I'm waiting for a phone call, and I... Uh, this will only take a few minutes, Mr. McGee. I've been phoning you all day, but I couldn't... You! Get... You mean you're the guy that's been phoning me all day? Well, come on, come on, come on. What is it? What do you want? What do you want? Uh, Mr. McGee, I just wanted to ask you one important question. Yeah, bud, shoot, bud. What is it? What is it? Well, I'm with the Life and Limb Insurance Company. How yeah. are you fixed for accident insurance? <laughs> accident insurance? Ax! Molly, hand me my shotgun out of the closet, will you? Hurry, because this guy may get away before I get... Gladly, dearie. Don't go away uh, now, sir. Well, I can see you're in no mood to talk insurance today, oh, Mr. McGee. I'll mood. see you later. Call me if I can... Oh. Here, watch out for the snow oh. shovel, sir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him bounce. <laughs> Say, you know something, Molly? I know you'd better take out some insurance, dearie. This darn shovel. No, but this is more important, Molly. Do you know that this is the 45th birthday of the Christmas seal? Well, so it is, bless its heart. Yeah. And I do mean heart. The Christmas seal has more heart in it than anything else I can think of. Why, do you know what the sale of Christmas seals accomplished, McGee? That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's already helped the Tuberculosis Association save more than five million lives, it has. Don't you think I know? And what do you think pays for all those chest x-ray campaigns, health education, rehabilitation, and medical research of the Tuberculosis Association if it isn't the Christmas seals you and me and all the rest of the folks buy? That's what I'm trying to find out, Molly. How many seals and have And Christmas we... seals are right in my insurance plan for you. Your insurance plan? For me? Yes, dearie. This is one insurance nobody can afford to be without. Oh, sure. But Molly is right, ladies and gentlemen. Christmas seals are wonderful insurance every American can buy. Your Christmas seal show, starring Fibber McGee and Molly, is presented by your local tuberculosis association. This program was made possible through the courtesy of the American Federation of Radio Artists and the American Federation of Musicians, James C. Petrillo, President. Fibber and Molly and the rest of us here wish all of you out there a very Merry Christmas with lots of greetings and gifts. All of them, of course, decorated with Christmas seals. This is Harlow Wilcox speaking. <laughs>